Ni hao. Hello from my side. Thank you so much for the chance to be here. Yeah, I can speak a little more Chinese than Ni hao, but you don't want to hear that today. We have heard some beautiful presentations about materials. I'm not really into this topic. I want to talk with you a bit about processing of these materials, especially because if you take some kind of filler materials into polymers, no matter if thermoplastic or thermoset, the viscosity might also change. This is something you know. And we have some challenges for the processing here, and this I want to talk about today. Some words about our company. Um, compared to the Italian company, we are even almost 40 years older. So we were founded in 1838, and please celebrate with me our 180th birthday this year. In 1838, Mr. von Maffei has founded our company for the manufacturing of locomotives. And later he merged together with Georg von Krauss in 1931 to the Krauss and Comp Company. And also since 1931, we, are, we have our headquarters in Munich. And on this picture, I can even see my old office. So my old office when I worked in Munich is even on that picture. In April, I moved to Shanghai to take over the business here. We had different kind of sectors like defense, locomotive sector, and around the 2000 years, we had a participation of the group. Yeah? And then from that time on, Cross Mafai, I'm working for, we had then a focus on plastics, plastic materials and plastic processing. So on injection molding, which I'm working for, reaction process machinery and also extrusion. 2016 in November, a very, very important step, last important step for Kraus Mafai. You can see Ting Tsai from CNCE company shaking hands with our group leader, Dr. Frank Stieler. Chem China has bought us from the capital investment company Onex in Canada. And this was really a, great, a huge step for us. We're really growing since that time, not only in China, but also in Germany in our headquarters. Kraus Mafai is growing and growing. And especially for the Chinese market, this gives us a great entry and a better relationship to the companies here. So this was really a huge step for us. Don't worry, I know that there are most guys are interested in materials, but just a little bit about machines. We are in electric and hydraulic injection molding machines. On the hydraulic range, the small would be the CX series up to the MX with 5,500 tons of clamping force. What you will see today in the industrial zone is a 80 ton PX machine. PX machine is an all electric machine with a toggle toggle drives are a very fast and precise machine, which you especially need for the processing of silicon materials, like liquid silicon rubber, LSR. We also have the on-Kraus Maffei automation in our company, dealing with linear robots we build on our own. And on the industry six-axis robots, we have our preferred partners we work with. So the important thing is that Kraus Maffei can always offer you a turnkey solution between the machine and the robot resulting in a turnkey solution production cell. We talked, or well, we heard a lot about the viscosity today. And the, on, the only thing from Kraus Mafai, before I come to the real important stuff for you, is our APC plus function. So um, think of the processing during injection molding, you have a lot of changes in viscosity. Can be summer or winter, yeah, can be day and night, and can be the amount of recycled material that you process or also the amount of filler materials that you add. All of these has changes on the viscosity of the material. And during injection molding, normally the switchover point from the screw, from injection to holding pressure, is controlled by the position. And that's the same for every shot. And now, if you do not have a look on the viscosity, your cavity might be filled more or less. And this is what APC Plus is doing. We are analyzing the viscosity of the material in each shot and do not produce a bad part with this. Yeah? So it's a little bit about the cruise control in your car. Yeah? If, you, if you have a cruise control in Germany, it would be 180 kilometers an hour maybe. And you have a cruise control on that speed yeah? and you go the mountain up a little bit, your car can keep the speed also on the way down. And this is like what APC Plus is during 
injection molding processing. We save a lot of energy and a lot of cycle time, and it's very easy to handle. You just push the button in the machine. I brought you one result that you can see here. So if you do not activate our APC plus function, that's the dark blue line. The shot weight is slightly in a specific range. Yeah? We have a part weight of plus minus 0.2% in this example. If you activate APC plus and you take account for these changes in viscosity, we are able to have a process which is 400%, so four times more stable compared to without the APC plus function. Let's, let, let me just show you a little bit in what products we are. So we are a lot of in lightweight industry, but also for excellent surfaces. On our reaction process side, we have RTM processes, so Crossmophy is very widely spread. And now let me talk more or less about the topic which you are all guys here today, about nano-augmented materials. Normally, if you want to make a plastic material, this is what I learned in school and university, a plastic material is not con has no conductivity. Yeah? Of course, you can get conductivity as soon as you put some materials inside. But normally, the materials you, uh, you need to put inside, you have a very, very high concentration of these materials. During compounding, you need like 10 to 40 percent of these materials inside your compound to be able to process it and to get a good conductivity, electrical conductivity. So this is a huge challenge, and it's really a pain to process these materials due to the very, very high viscosity. But this is only processing. Also inside the cavity during when we need to activate the vulcanization to get the liquid silicon rubber in the end, yeah, the curing process of this LSR material is also negatively influenced if you have 30 or 40 percent of some kind of filler material in there just to make, just to get the electrical, uh, electrical conductivity. Yeah? And also, the curing behavior is negatively influenced, and the color. If you put like 30% of foreign material in, your color will not be perfectly blue or black anymore. The solution is the tubal material. I hope I pronounced it right, sorry. Um, actually, the, the big advantage of this material is due to the single, single wall carbon nanotubes, it is, it is possible to only put around 1 or 1.5% one in the compounding with the LSR material. So 98.5% of LSR and 1.5% of this beautiful material, which does not have a negative effect on the processing anymore. There is almost no change in the viscosity, and also the final properties of the part are brilliant. And this is, uh, this is the machine you will be able to see in the industrial zone. That's our PX, with, um, so the electric machine, with 80 tons of clamping force and an injection unit of 100. And here you can see it. We have 98.5% of the st just standard LSR material we want to process and only 1.5 grams, so 1.5% of the tubal matrix material. Yeah. You may ask, uh, by the way, uh, this is the Elke material from Blue Star, which is also, let's say, a sister or a brother in our company below Camp China. And this is the result, what you can see also in the industrial zone later. So, vulcanization process, the curing process, is not negatively influenced, as I already said, with a vulcanization time of 100 seconds at 180 degrees. We have uniform, anti-static properties. We do not have any color changes here, and also especially the mechanical properties, which are for the customers one of the most important things because they just need to be fulfilled. We do not have any challenges here with the tubal material and have really a great production with that. And coming back to APC+, this is a function we normally use if we have large amount of viscosity changes for this material we still activate it to get an even more higher shot weight consistency, but we wouldn't even need it in this case. So thanks to the tubal material, really a very stable and robust processing of LSR materials is possible. 
I can invite you now to the industrial zone, as we have already heard. There you can see the machine running, and I invite you to take one of these Elkem bracelets with you. Xie thank you very much.